<laughs> Just for you. Hey everyone, welcome back to The Spiritual Social. I'm Lexi, your local light worker, Mata reader and astrologer. But today I am your rosy omancist or rosy omancer, however you like to call me. I'm bringing you a very special rose petals energy reading during this incredibly rainy day in Bucharest. If you happen to hear something in the background, it's just raindrops on the mantelpiece outside. We are having a cyclone course through my city at the moment. It's incredibly icy, windy rain and it's very typical of the current transit of Pluto and Aquarius and Saturn and Pisces. So I hope that you're taking great care of yourselves if you also happen to be stranded someplace or at home or at work and there is this insane weather, icy, watery weather changes around you. So all this being said, I hope that this reading is going to provide you with some imaginative escapism. I hope that it will reconfirm some of the things you have been intuitively feeling. I hope that it will inspire your heart and your soul. And I know that a lot of you are giving me feedback that you enjoy my voice, that you find it very comforting and that you find these petal readings incredibly relaxing. And it gives me great joy to be able to be of service to you during these pretty crazy trying social times. So I have here for you a choice of two different boxes. I decided to use my Oracle deck collection and I thought I would fill up the original Oracle boxes for my Work Your Light Oracle deck created by Rebecca Campbell for group one. And for group two, we have here the Angels and Ancestors cards created by Kyle Gray. I just thought that these would be two beautiful Oracle decks to choose from. They are classics. Um, they are some of the decks that started um, me on my spiritual path. And one of it, one of them I actually won from another tarot reader here on YouTube. And the other one was the first Oracle deck I purchased together with the Moonology deck. So I just thought now that I'm in this process of moving from my parents' house to my own flat and everything is a little bit transitional and full of change and up in the air for me, that I would go back to the basics. I would go back to those things that I remember started me on the spiritual journey. And that I would take you along with me on this beautiful kind of like progression. I see it as a progression. I see it as growth and I see it as heart opening and heart awakening. So I have here a group of orange roses and I also have here some light pink and white delightful rose petals. And I mix them up together and I try to distribute them evenly in these two boxes. Feel free to choose one of these two options, either by the number, by their position, by the oracle decks. Maybe you prefer one of these two oracle decks. I can't really show you the front because I risk turning uh, all of the rose petals on themselves but feel free to go by whatever you feel intuitively drawn towards because then there is a higher likelihood that if you choose with your gut and you, your intuition rather than your eyes there is a higher likelihood that the messages will resonate more deeply today we are answering the question what are you manifesting next in love i want to check in with spirit with the help of reading the energy patterns from these gorgeous rose petals to try to see, to give you some clues as to what's coming up ahead for you. And this is a time span from the moment when you stumble upon this reading, six months. So I'm giving it a duration of two seasons to see what are you manifesting from now up until the corresponding six months. So I hope this makes sense. I hope you have chosen one of these two boxes. If all this has been said and done, then let's get to it. Let's find out, my loves, what are you manifesting next with the help of the energetic patterns of these gorgeous, fresh rose petals. Thank you so much for your memberships, for your subscriptions, for your likes, for your patronage, if you're one of my wonderful patrons. Thank you so much for your Instagram comments. Thank you for your orders. Just thank you, thank you from all of my heart. I just 
Love you guys so much. And as soon as I'm finished with this big, big transition in my life, I hope to insert like a lot of fresh energy into the spiritual social and bring you even better and more quality content. But until then, let's satisfy our occult appetite by checking in with these rose petals. See you at your pile. Mwah. Hello, group one. Hello, my darlings. I hope you're having a really, really good day. And if not, then let me make it better for you. So this is a rose petal energy reading. I started these energy readings here on YouTube two years ago. And I'm super, super happy that you're able to tune in with me for this special one today. If you hear something on the background, there's a cyclone moving through my city of Bucharest. And you might hear raindrops falling on the mantelpiece outside. So please don't get worried. It's just just the sound of rain complementing this reading. So this reading is for those of you that were drawn to the Work Your Light Oracle Box. And these are your rose petals. Let me sprinkle them here on the ground for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gorgeous. You also got some greenery, which is interesting. So I feel that you're manifesting something quite fresh, quite new. Let me read you your affirmation. So group one. Maybe you forgot that you are the oracle. I'm here to remind you that you are the magician of your life. You are able to make things happen. Even if they happen slower than you imagined them, they are still happening. You are powerful. So this is the energy that you are drawn towards. It's an incredibly bright, white, luminous kind of energy. Very romantic. We see all these pinks, these blues, very escapist, very dreamlike. 12th house energy, 4th house energy, Pisces, Cancer vibrations, but also I'm getting some air energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. There is a lot of balance that you're manifesting in your love life, and there is also a new path. So let's check in with the petals. I'm going to put your box over here. Okay, group one, what is going on here? I see here a child, a baby, an awakening, um, maybe potentially a news of some pregnancy. I feel that in some cases, if you're not the pregnant one, you will hear that a friend of yours, a relative, a sister, a brother is getting ready to welcome a child into this world um, or has conceived. So celebrating fertility, celebrating new life and awakening. Some of you are going to a festival. You will be surrounded by people. You have received some compliments, especially on your shoes and earrings for some reason. That's kind of what I'm getting. Some of you really enjoy the movie Dune. I don't know why, but I'm getting um, those sandworms that exist in the movie. It's a very clear indication of that. That's a very weird reference. I feel like group one has been recently into sci-fi, exploring sci-fi novels almost as if they are chronicles of the future that is to come here on Earth. I feel that you might be having a crush on an actor that recently, or an actress that recently played in a sci-fi movie. I'm hearing Battlestar Galactica for some of you. Or maybe you're just crushing on Adam Driver from 65. I'm not sure why I'm getting these references, but I keep telling them because maybe they will resonate with some of you out there. So there is something here about a vortex, a maelstrom, feeling like your romantic life, your romantic energy is going through a spinning cycle almost like the one that you're seeing in a washing machine but also you're drawn to very innovative libertarian ways of loving of thinking about relationships you're opening up your mind some of you are having the transit of the planet pluto um, over your sun your moon or your venus and you're changing completely the way you're looking at your emotional patterns, the way you attract partners, and the way you love them. Look, it's coming undone. The more I twist it, the more undone it's coming. So somebody will unravel you. You're manifesting a partner that will completely unravel you in the most gorgeous way possible. Do you see how gorgeous this is? It looks like peach, silk, pinky, um, not really pinky, but like silky peach energy unraveling, unfurling into the arms of a lover. Wow, I love this energy. This is such a gorgeous vibration. Wow. 
Okay, so you're coming undone, you're unraveling, you're opening up more to other people, you're manifesting some very delicious emotional vulnerability, not of the kind where other people see your weaknesses and they take advantage of you, but of the kind where you feel like you can finally blossom, you can finally relax and unfurl. And I feel like a lot of you are experiencing this unraveling Wow, it was 444 when I said that. You are so protected, Group 1. My God, God bless. You will experience this unraveling in the coming six months in a very steady way, in a very sensual and lush way. I kind of feel that the transit of the planet Jupiter entering into the sign of Taurus around the 16th of May of this year, um, if you're watching this at the time at which I'm releasing this, I feel like it's going to really bring in a lot of sensuality into your life. You're manifesting some pleasure, some pleasurable times. I feel like increased self-worth, your body image, your figure is going to feel like you are the right shape, the right size, the right texture, the right skin color, whatever was one of your biggest problems. I feel like right now, yeah, I'm just picking up on these I just feel like you're going to really, really see yourself holistically. There are a lot of conch and shell forms in these patterns. So sea energy, water-like energy, Yamaya or Yamoja, how she's also known, the goddess of the sea, this African temptress, this Yoruban deity is really bringing in the waters of healing in your life. I also feel like you are going to amp up your, um, I feel like, uh, intimate hygiene. I feel you might start using the keep cup in certain cases. Um, I feel like you're trying to really take good care of your feminine parts. I know that feminine parts most of the time appear in these readings because the flowers do tend to look like intimate feminine parts. They're very beautiful in that way. Or some Georgia O'Keeffe um, paintings or Georgia O'Keeffe. I'm not sure how you pronounce her name, but I absolutely love her. She's a Scorpio modernist painter from America. And some of you have been saying that these are repetitive messages, but they just exist here and I need to point them out. So just the fact that some things repeat themselves, that doesn't mean that they're bad, right? There is something here about a person keeping their eye on you because we have here, you see this very interesting looking petal with two eyes and a mouth. It almost looks like somebody has some yellow lipstick on, which is a really cool aesthetic choice. Somebody's keeping an eye on you, and I believe it is a woman. I think this is somebody younger than you, somebody that admires and looks up to you, a younger sister, um, if you are in a teacher-like or mentor position, or if you have some very strong responsibilities at work. This could be a trainee, a student, a new acolyte, somebody that you are taking under your wing as a disciple. And this person really, really admires you. You have to be on your best behavior around this person because they tend to copy and imitate the things that you do. So you have right now the benefit of the role model. Use it wisely, group one. Okay, don't be afraid of your teacher-like energy. I also see that some of you, I see here a swan and a horse. Some of you are going to manifest a partner that either will carry the energy of the swan or the horse. I mostly see the horse in the shape of the white and pink petal and the swan is very beautifully, it's almost like a swan that is transforming itself into a phoenix bird. It's gorgeous. I see it in the shape of this orange petal. Maybe you see it too. That's the head and that's the body. Those are the beautiful spread out wings. So one of you, I feel, could be um, a person that has the spirit animal of the swan and the other one of the horse. One of you has a lot of stamina. This is a person of vigor. And the other one is incredibly um, attached to the way in which they relate to other people. Swans made for life and horses are incredibly stable and trustworthy and loyal. The only thing is that horses can sometimes trample over other people's feelings in order to reach their goals. And the problem with swans is that they tend to be quite territorial, possessive and protective. They tend to attack people that um, are trying to reach their family or disturb their environment. 
So there could be some struggle here, some power plays between you and this incredible partner. But I feel like you both are going to bring out the best in each other. And I feel like this is truly a power couple kind of energy, the swan and the horse, such noble animals, right? Um, and I feel like you're going to have a partner that will not only look very good, but will make you look good and will also push you to look your best as well and to be your best. Okay, what other energies I'm picking up on? We see here this fresh green, which talks to me about spreading your wing, going into another direction, because I see here a wing shape in this card, you see? There's a lot of chlorophyll. It's a very green leaf. So fresh life, fresh energy, vitality, increased bodily health. I feel like you might be moving more. You might be juicing or going on a diet that increases your stamina, your energy levels. You're finally discovering what was that problem in your diet that was clogging you down, that was making you feel drained and low on energy. You're amping up your vitality. You're making a small change that will give you so much energy to tackle all of your goals. I feel that there is a lot of thirst for life in you. I feel like you've been repressing a lot of your instincts and now they're finally letting loose. I am getting this very vibrant, free, loose, opened kind of energy. And I feel like sexually you might be experimenting in the next six months. I feel like you're going to completely let go of traditional beliefs regarding love and lovemaking and sexuality and your gender identity. And you're just going to experiment. You're going to try out different things and let the chips fall where they may. I feel like you might also become a little bit of a sexual taker. Like you might enjoy receiving pleasure more, allowing other people to give you more pleasure, allowing people to pursue you. And I feel like you're, you're slowly going to become the envy of your friends. I see here a group of women that are like um, gossiping about you, but not in an evil or toxic way. It's like they're giggling and they're like exchanging glances and they're talking about, ooh, look, this is our friend's latest conquest. Oh my goodness. Oh, <laughs> you know, discussing the other person's energy. Another thing that I see here is that if you check these patterns on these petals, it almost looks like somebody has been writing on them. You see the veins that show that the petal has been bent. They talk about something that has been folding onto itself. And it's almost like the structure of old scrolls or a papyrus on which to write upon, like um, vegetable paper. So I see here a comeback from somebody from the past. Um, you might receive a letter, an email unexpectedly. There is somebody that could try to reconnect with you in the coming period and might write you a really long text message, a really long email, um, a letter. You might receive um, something in your mail in which they're trying to explain where they have been, what has been going on with them and where they want to take this relationship with you. I feel that most of you will read a string of I'm sorry, I apologize. I don't know if you'll find it in your heart to forgive this person, but it will feel like some sort of release of a situation that has left you broken and in pieces. If you have a look at some of these, I see a lot of like small broken parts, which kind of make up a whole. They make up the whole of you regarding this romantic connection. So maybe this is a message for some of you out there that are trying to get over a twin flame connection that never materialized or a connection with the person that was the one that got away. I feel like you will receive some sort of clarification and it might be that the upcoming eclipse corridor which will take place from the middle of april until the beginning the first two weeks of may is going to be the moment that the fate or the fates will open the door for you and something predestined a conclusion is going to take place because as you know that eclipses bring something in our lives and they take something out of our lives whether we like it or not it's a fated event destiny intervenes whenever we have an eclipse so get ready for a blast from the past and a beautiful slow release of something that has been weighing you down for a very long time I feel like some of you are going to experiment with blush. 
I feel like beauty styles regarding how you apply blush and um, some of you have never enjoyed blush. Some of you might have said that blush makes you look very silly like a clown or like a hooker but I feel like you're changing your mind regarding this aspect. Some of you will also spend some time outdoors when it is sunny reconnecting with a person that will attempt a couple of times to kiss you. So this is a really interesting interesting development. There is definitely more solar energy that you're manifesting into your life and especially in your love life. And I feel this has to do with your confidence. The main thing you're manifesting group one is increased confidence. You're finding out that your intuition was correct. In the past, you might have felt like this leaf, a bit of a mix up, you know, a bit of a cocktail. Maybe you always found it hard to fit in. Maybe you always struggle to feel beautiful. By comparison with other petals, you might have been feeling that there's something in wrong with you, that you're not perfect. But now you're finding out that actually other types of petals, no matter how perfect they looked, let me just see if I can focus it, they all had some sort of fault problem. They all had a mistake, a burden, a bruise. It's just that they were better at hiding it while you were bravely just wearing all of your experiences onto you. And now I feel like you're going to stand out. People are going to increasingly find you attractive, interesting, valuable, which you always were. It's just that you needed um, a pick me up, you know, you needed for whatever type of beauty you are to become popular. And you guys know that beauty trends come and go. So just give it a couple of years. Um, if you're struggling to love a part of you, it will become the most fashionable thing five years from now. Trust me. <laughs> so I see here as well a reconnection with the sibling. I feel like you're, you're going to spend some quality times with the sibling. This is talking about um, agape love, um, the love that we feel for the people that are nearest to us, or even filial love, um, this kind of love that we experience between brother and sister, or between us and our children, um, or the children in our family. And I think you're going to have a lot of time. I see here reading, listening to music, and going out to grab some food. These will be primarily the activities. For some of you, you're going to enjoy going to your favorite stores. You might have not had an opportunity to shop with your sister, brother, or friend, or even a child in the family for a very long time, and now you're going to catch up on that. I feel like you guys complement each other. You see a lot of things in this person that is m most likely younger than you, or very similar to you. You see a lot of things about you reflected in them, and you have this really counseling energy regarding them. It's very beautiful. So let me put my hands one more time through these rose petals and see if I can find out anything, any other messages that needs to be. Oh, look at them. Look how beautiful they are. These colors are so life-giving. Any other messages? I hear a lot of cracks. You hear that? Crack, crack. Almost like crunchy energy. Crunchy. This is good. This means that you're breaking through a couple of spells that were maybe cast against you. Mm -hmm. And again, the unraveling, the unfurling. Yeah, you're definitely, you're definitely breaking out of a mold and overcoming a pattern that has been keeping you stuck. You're transforming. Group one, this is the reading that I had for you. I really hope you enjoy it. I'm sending you on your way with so much love and break out of your cocoon. Don't be afraid to do that because look, it's taking you towards your own little internal navigator. You will have like a, a certain ship inside of you that will take you towards the right destination. Just keep following, keep walking your true path, your north node. And follow that guidance, follow that intuition. It will take you exactly where you need to go. Thank you so much for listening. I love you all so, so much. And I cannot wait to see you in my next one. Bye, group one. Hey, group two. Hello, my darlings. Welcome to another Rose Petal Energy reading in which we will find out the details of what you are manifesting next for a time span of right now, the moment when you stumble upon this reading, and six months upwards. So I have to begin the reading by saying it all looks a little bit messy, doesn't it? And I wanted to leave it here because I think this is an energy that resonates very strongly. There is the mess created from the previous group one reading. And also, my candle almost melted completely into this sheet that I have here. So I had to put it out. A mess. 
a chaotic emotional mess, a romantic disappointment that left you burned out, that almost extinguished the light within. I feel like this is something that might have recently happened to you and that's why you feel drawn to choose group two. If you don't recognize yourself in this, then maybe you might want to go and check out group one or any of the other rose petal readings that I have in my list. So keeping in mind this energy, I'm going to help you now clean up. Because we all know that when we have somebody that help us clean up our energy field, that helps us feel light and bright again, then we are able to continue to keep taking good care of ourselves and to continue helping others to clean up too. So you've been through it. You've been through the ringer emotionally, romantically, but I'm here to help you out as I'm sure that many other people are there to help you out too. And instead of this, you know, mistake, we can always cover it up with something different. Now, how does the landscape look right now when you had somebody to help you deal with the romantic disappointment? It looks better, doesn't it? It looks brighter. It looks more like yourself again. So keeping this in mind, let's see your box, your gift. We have here the angels and ancestors box, this gray, uh, green kind of box or sea green box. And these are your rose petals. Yeah. So let's sprinkle them onto the sheet. Mm -hmm. And let me show you the box you have chosen. So I feel like you're in need of some sort of ancestor support. Maybe this is why you were drawn to this group. And I can understand if you've been through it, I can completely understand why you might need some ancestral support. Here is your affirmation. Guardians of the four corners, mother in the earth, father in the sky, angels, ancestors, sacred ones. I call on you and welcome you here now. So we have the presence right now because we invoke them of your angels and ancestors. Your spirit team is now here and together with me, we will begin this reading for you to offer you some reprieve, some solace, some respite from something that I, I would say low-key made you fold yourself onto yourself, made you retreat from the social world, might have made you feel broken and hopeless in terms of romantic prospects. So let's begin this. I feel like this might be a very healing reading for you, group two. What's happening here? Well, I see very clearly the signs of a three-party situation. We begin very strongly with the first thing that Spirit pointed out to me. There might have been two people that could have taken advantage of you. They might have used your purity your naivety as well or what they think it's naivety but maybe for you it's just open-heartedness and it looks almost as if these two individuals which were two peas of the same pod two people of the same beliefs values and culture and whatever it was that they pretended to be might have tricked you deceived you um, broken you in some way. For some of you, these could be your parents, your nearest and dearest, your family members. And I feel like you need some time to recover. You need some time to heal. And you also need to see maybe through the realm of these rose petals, how different you are from them. You see how larger you are, first of all. And maybe it is the case that these two people try to keep you small. They try to taint you in some way. They try to bruise and scar you as you can see this petal. But that doesn't mean you stopped being this gorgeous, slight pink with white rose petal. You always are and you always were incredibly pure and loving. And no matter what these two people might have done to, broke, to break your trust, you will be protected. I feel like a group of people that can support you. This is predominantly what you're manifesting. And you're manifesting people that will be able to hug you, give you some comforting food, people that will be able to talk to you, people that can give you even some medical advice if you need to be on medication, if you need some sort of physical healing as well, you're manifesting that. I also feel like there are some communication coming your way. I see this as a bird. 
And birds to me represent messages, conversations. You might receive a certificate. You might receive some news. An important email is coming your way. Check your inbox. Check your spam folder. And also check your postal box as well. Yeah. There is a lot of energy regarding protecting yourself, keeping things a bit more private. Maybe you were the victim of online bullying. Um, maybe there might have been people that ganged up upon you and made you feel less worthy then. But that was just more of a reflection of their own inner hatred rather than who you are as a human being. And also, you know, I know that we live in a predominantly superficial social world. It's a superficial social environment. But that doesn't mean that our value as human beings needs to be determined by how we look and how we talk necessarily. Those just are things that make us different one from the other. But all in all, we're all human. And I see here very clearly that you're learning how to, first of all, accept certain parts of yourself that others might hate, that you will love yourself no matter how other people treat you, that it's more a reflection of their own character than a reflection of something being wrong with you. But I also feel that you're learning how to protect yourself. You're learning how to uh, set important boundaries, how to stay private, how to not overshare. And I feel like this is happening through some tests in your personal connection. And you see that after a period where you might have been feeling tainted, vulnerable, broken, maybe even unwell, you are going through a mini rebirth. It's almost like a pearl coming back to life after it has suffered some um, wild undersea currents that have moved it from side to side, maybe breaking its shell a little bit. Give yourself some time because look, romantic energy will return to your life. It doesn't all have to happen overnight in order to be valuable. It can just happen in time gradually. So allow the spring that is happening on the planet right now in the Northern Hemisphere or the autumn that is taking place right now in the Summer Hemisphere to be your point of transition from a state of hopelessness, desperation, and in some cases trauma to a point of deep love, self-acceptance, and transition to a much, much brighter energetic stage. Your ancestors are definitely with you. I feel a woman with braids and long black hair is especially by your side. So I feel like she might be some sort of maternal energy or some sort of goddess, some sort of spirit and guardian that is surrounding you at the moment. So I see here as well that the vision has been clotted. It has been blurred. It's almost like you found it hard to dream about love, to believe in love. And when I say love, I don't only talk about romantic love, although that's a big concern for some of you. I feel this is mostly as well closing your heart off to relatives, friends, and even the things that used to bring you joy, things that you used to do to make you feel safe and stable. They kind of lost their, their sheen. But I'm here to let you know, my love, that see, if you sit down and analyze what actually brought you to this point, you will get to the core of things. You will understand why you have lost your thirst for life and what is going on with your beautiful heart. Sometimes we go through these challenges in life that shut our hearts in a very violent way. And then we need to spend years to actually open up our hearts again so that we feel connected to others, trusting, loving, and that we can manifest love. But I feel like for you, it's going to be less than years or decades. It's going to be a process, definitely. It will take some time, but you will eventually emerge brand new and squeaky clean from these energetic kind of um, toxic vibrations that other people might have placed you in. I feel like you will receive some sort of compliment, some sort of admiration from a person that you least expected. Somebody that might have been quite silent in your life, might have not supported you. You've always thought, oh, this is a very stern figure, a disciplinarian, an authoritative individual. I feel like this person could surprise you by being the friend in need that you never thought they were capable of becoming. So this individual, I feel like most likely it's an older woman, has, keep, has been keeping an eye on you and has noticed how strong you are. 
and this person is coming to give you a piece of advice i feel in some cases this person could even give you some money some clothing some practical advice how to help you pick yourself up and it's through gradual events like this that your faith in the divine your faith in yourself and your healing is going to complete itself I also feel that some of you might get an emotional support animal. You might adopt a pet that can also balance you out and especially kind of bring your mental health into a state of balance. Mm -hmm. I feel like you are going to take extra care of yourself. And you see, much like this petal is infused with this white light kind of vibration, I feel like your life is going to be stretched out and cleansed. It's a lot about cleansing and purification and changing your ideas of what you feel romantic purification, romantic cleansing is all about. Maybe you grew up with very strong religious values and religious ideas regarding love. Maybe you see the act of love making as something that could make you impure or you were brought up to think of that. But now I feel like you're slowly shedding these uh, antiquated beliefs and with the help of I feel like a friend, another feminine energy, or maybe um, a brother that has a very strongly developing, developed feminine side, maybe a brother that could be on a spectrum. Um, I feel like together you're going to embark on this very secretive, intimate journey of exchanging um, information, of trying to see how can I get better at kissing, how can I get better at lovemaking, how can I experiment with a lot of things that maybe in your culture or around you are somehow forbidden or prohibited. And you're breaking through these taboos in a very slow moving way, in a very silent way. You're very stealth about all the things you're doing, but you're breaking through them nonetheless. Okay, so this is the really wonderful energy. Some of you are manifesting a crush on somebody with light blonde hair, almost to the point that this person also has their eyebrows incredibly light. Um, I feel like you're crushing on a very unique looking individual that pulls you in precisely because they look so unique. This person has a very radiant glow, a very radiant aura, and you'll be a little bit... <laughs> I feel like this will be a case where you'll be a little bit blindsided. Maybe their personality will not come through as intensely as their looks will. So you will need to spend some time concentrating on getting to know them by talking to them rather than just staring at them. I feel like this person is really quite a looker in a very unique way. Yeah, A person that just keeps you coming back to look at them because you always catch something different. I see here that the letter J... So J from Jasmine, Jane, John, uh, Juan, um, Juvia, I don't know, all sorts of names, Ju uh, Julie, I would say, Justine. I feel maybe I even said the names of some of you right now, but the letter J is very important. J could also mean January. So you might manifest a person born in the month of January, potentially a Capricorn or an Aquarius or July. So this could be a Gemini or a Cancer that you're manifesting. J is a really important letter for those of you that have chosen this pile. Let's see, what else? What else could you help me see? Oh, twins, twins. There's going to be some... Okay, some of you are in a twin flame connection and I feel like you will be ascending to a whole new level where you will see each other very differently than before. You see, it's almost like I see two people putting their foreheads together in complete recognition others of you i feel are going to maybe twin with somebody maybe you will decide to wear the same kind of clothing with a person that you see as your best friend your ride or die your soul fam <laughs> um, or maybe your actual relative maybe you have a sibling or somebody in your family a niece a nephew that you enjoy spending time with and you're going to start wearing the same kind of clothes um, or the same kind of bandanas or a logo a family logo just to show your belonging to the family group there is very strong 
twin energy, twin flame, um, just duality, contradictions, blending, and things being accepted, things finally being um, completed. You see, it's almost like the glyph of the sign Cancer, the six and the nine coming together in this perfect harmony, creating a whole. And if I flip it on its back, oh, I wanted to see how they look like when they were embraced on their back. It looks like two breasts. So some of you could be considering breast implant surgery or just breast reduction, breast augmentation. Um, you could be changing something regarding the look of your nipples. You guys know that in these readings, I look at all the aspects related to Venus and Venus rules over money, self-worth, beauty, and love. So I'm looking into messages from all these different spheres. There is an embrace here. I'm here to let you know that you will be embracing somebody or somebody will embrace you. And I think this could take place in a clothing shop, like in a, in a place where you change your clothes or in the wardrobe section of a club, of a restaurant. It's like somebody will hug you and you will hug them. It could be to say goodbye. It could be in a romantic sexual way because you both want each other a lot. Or it might just be to say hello. Let's unfurl this one. I have to say that with you, the messages are coming in a much slower way than for group one. And I feel that this is because there is a lot of sadness in your group, which I'm trying to work through and transmute. But don't give up, okay? Look, two wings. Wow, I see a lot of things forming together in a very beautiful, complete pattern. Believe it or not, group two, even though you might be feeling sad and you might be feeling like I cannot manifest anything in love, look at the perfect geometry. Look at how the shapes and the patterns that I'm holding in my hand seem to fall into place. Things are falling into place even if your mind are, is not able to see them. You might not be seeing them now. Give it some time. Maybe until January, maybe until July from the moment when you watch this reading. But there is something here about completion, new seeds. Mm -hmm. Because you see the seeds. Look. So the seeds. The seeds talk about initiating something brand new. Building something from the ground up. Putting the first foot forward. The first step starting new intentions a new way of seeing this is the energy the seed is the energy of the ace of cups the ace of swords the ace of coins and the ace of wands in the minor arcana right it's that first initiatory move forward so things are going in the beautiful direction you see here how these petals have arranged themselves in such a way that it almost looks like it's a giant dahlia or maybe even a daffodil, um, a chunky flower with a very colorful center. Yeah? So things are arranging themselves in the way in which they need to. You just have to have a bit more trust, my love, okay? And all the pain and the disappointments that you might have been through, they're leading to a bigger thing. They're leading to something more complete and more stable. Much like the core of this... Sorry, I had to expel some air. Yeah, you're, you're going to breathe a sigh of relief very soon. There is relief coming. You will expel air. You'll be able to breathe better, to, be, to feel free. Because something that has been on its shaky legs is going to actually show that it has a very strong and stable core. No matter how much I try to kind of press on this one, look, it stays. It stays firm. So a relationship could be more solid than you think. Um, a confirmation of health, a clean bill of health, a procedure, a beauty procedure, an operation might turn out better than you expect. A situation with a person that you've always thought they hate me because they're so stern and difficult with me. Actually, this person respects you and admires you and has been looking at you for a while. They're coming into your life to give you good advice. So things are not what they seem. Allow things to fall into place because they are moving perfectly in the direction in which they need to but you might you might have wanted things that would have been bad for you so that's why you were going through these tests and limitations group two okay my loves so this is the reading that i have for you i really hope you have enjoyed this reading i hope you found it healing and soothing let me know down in the comments if it resonates thank you for listening my loves i love you so much and i cannot wait to see you in my next one Mwah.